Happy New Year, America! It's January, and we're keeping our resolution to give you nothing but real and honest journalism with BNN's top seven stories from around the globe. Well, it's almost that time of year again, folks. It's Vought's annual Hero Draft. Now, in just a few short months, the best and brightest young heroes from Godolkin University will see their dreams come true or come crashing down, as everything they've been training for over the past four years all comes down to this. It's all on the line for these collegiate heroes, as lucrative contracts to defend America's greatest cities are up for grabs. Alumni Queen Maeve, The Deep, and A-Train were all famously drafted by New York City in the seven. But this year, which rising stars will go to Miami, Cleveland, and Los Angeles? And while this year's competition is sure to be intense, people can't stop talking about Godolkin University junior Golden Boy, already seen as the top pick for next year's draft. America's future has never been brighter, and I, for one, can't wait to see what's in store for this new generation of heroes. Vought's tiny, fun-loving superhero, Termite, known for his ability to shrink to the size of a bug, has a new movie out on Vought Plus, a romantic comedy titled Pocket Romance. Now, in the movie, Termite's co-star plays a lonely toy store manager named Dolly, who initially discovers the tiny soup hiding amidst some action figures while working an undercover mission. As Dolly is swept up into Termite's world, action and hilarity ensue, as the unlikely duo find that no matter how small you are, finding true love may be the biggest mission of all. Vought Plus just announced that Trenton's crime-fighting superhero, Blue Hawk, will be getting his own reality TV series this fall. The bold New Jersey-based avian hero, who's made a name for himself by being especially tough on crime, will star in Red, White, and Blue Justice, an unscripted reality program where fans can join Blue Hawk as he brings law and order to the rough streets of Trenton each and every week. Vought executive Ashley Barrett described the show as a gritty reality series that will do for soups what other shows have done for cops, which is exactly the kind of unapologetic, quality, American programming that this newscaster is anxious to see. Seeing as we at VNN are nothing but fair and balanced, we wanted to give the FBSA a chance to speak for themselves and give our viewers a chance to hear both sides of the story. So, joining us live via Vought.com high-speed internet, Please welcome okay. FBSA Senior Analyst, Hugh Campbell, okay. live from their headquarters um, in New York. Mr. Campbell, you? thanks for joining Hi. us. Hi, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, thank you. I really appreciate you asking me to be on. Uh, most people just want to speak with Congresswoman Newman, so this is, uh, this is pretty unexpected, actually. Thank you. Our pleasure, Mr. Campbell. I know we sometimes get a bad reputation, but VNN remains committed to remaining fair and balanced, no matter which side you're on. Okay. I mean, we all bleed red, don't we? I, I, I think so, um, and you can call me Huey, by the way. Absolutely, Huey. So let's jump right in, shall we? Yeah. <clears throat> so, can you tell the American people why the FBSA hates superheroes? Uh, okay, that's one way to start. It's a simple um, question. Well, to answer your question, the FBSA doesn't hate superheroes. Far from it, actually. We're actually partnering with... Then why are you and Victoria Newman using the FBSA to run a sham witch hunt against them? All we're doing is holding superheroes accountable for their actions. And since the FBSA began, super-related crimes and collateral damage have seen a significant decrease. If you look at the data, we're actually helping- You're changing the subject, Mr. Campbell. I asked you a simple question. I, I'm, I'm trying to answer your question. Let's take Ezekiel, for example. Okay. The FBSA acted on unsubstantiated rumors to smear a good Christian superhero and tear him down. We have witnesses who came forward and gave sworn testimony. I wonder if they were paid. Excuse me, are you saying that we paid witnesses? I'm just asking a question. I mean, something motivated them to spread slanderous lies slanderous about an American lies. hero. Look, Ezekiel brought this on himself. And where's the evidence? How do you know that Ezekiel is anything other than a God-fearing, all-American, patriotic superhero? Look, I, I can't get into the details of an ongoing investigation, Cameron. But no, of course look, not. All right, okay, thank you, I've heard enough. What we are doing is we are trying to Cut hold superheroes accountable. Cut his mic! We're not Unbelievable. And un-American. I don't think any of us need to hear any more of that BS. That tells you everything you need to know about the FBSA. We'll be right back. Food, friends, and fun. Do you love games? Love pizza? Love winning super prizes? Then paddle on down to Buster Beaver's Pizza for all that and more. And with our Build Your Own Pizza Dam, you can make your own pizza with as many toppings as you want. Cook fresh in a real wood fire pizza oven. Mmm. Plus, be sure to join Buster's Birthday Party Pizza Pals. 
and get three times the tokens to celebrate on your special day. Yay! Woohoo! I can't wait to see you soon. Food, friends, and fun. Buster Beaver's Pizza Restaurant. Former Payback member Crimson Countess announced that she's launching a new charity and sanctuary for chimpanzees called Chimp Country, which plans to break ground just outside New York City sometime this year. Now, to finance her new venture, she's turning to crowdsourcing to help with construction costs, offering autographed photos, vintage memorabilia, as well as limited meet and greet packages where fans can sit in on the recording session of her new upcoming single, Chimps Don't Cry, which happens to be true, unless they're watching left-leaning media, in which case that might bring a tear to their eye. This just in. Now, it, it seems that the search for the newest members of The Seven is underway. And we've just received an exclusive report that an upcoming reality series, American Hero, will see 10 super-powered contestants compete for the two open slots on The Seven. Now, the complete list of the show's participants include Luckless, Livewire, Jetstreak, Europo, Moonshadow, Lone Star, Critter, Silver Kincaid, Pit Stop, as well as super-powered ex-boy bander, Supersonic. Now, the Seven's very own Starlight will serve as the host and judge for the show, which should be interesting, as her former teenage flame is also a contender. Now, sources say the contestants have already moved into the American Hero Mansion outside of New York City, and that filming is currently underway. And we'll share more details as they come in, but I, for one, am excited. Homelander gave the keynote speech at this year's Vought International Annual Shareholders Conference, where he offered a public apology yet again for his relationship with Stormfront. Now, as he stated countless times, Homelander had no knowledge of Stormfront's former Nazi ties and was just as shocked and betrayed as the rest of us. But sadly, his repeated apologies mean nothing to the fake news liberal media, who continue their merciless and relentless attacks against the leader of the Seven, despite everything he's done for us. I mean, what more do you people want? How many times does he have to say he's sorry? So please, how about we try showing a little compassion for once, okay? Maybe even a little gratitude. Compassion, people. Compassion. Capping off today's programming, I want to make a very special announcement. After personally receiving top honors at this year's Vought National News Awards, VNN has furthered their commitment to honesty, integrity, and journalism you can count on by giving this humble journalist a full hour time slot. So please, join me for the Cameron Coleman Hour, coming soon exclusively on VNN. And while this may be the end of the 7 on 7 series, from those red, white, and blue ashes, a mighty American phoenix will rise. So stay tuned, folks. We're just getting started.